I've been able to work with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Gary V, and the NBA. And this is all due to having a Notion document. I'm not joking. I'm going to be breaking down what the most important thing you need to do to find your ideal client and how we continue to work with great brands year after year. So let's break this down. I'm going to be talking about something called a skills portfolio. Now, what is a skills portfolio? It's similar to a portfolio if you're going to be programming or if you're into multimedia, you're displaying your work, you're showing your work. Now, what makes this special is you're highlighting a hyper specific skill that you have. And then that allows people to see if they want to work with you. Now, you might say, wait a minute, that's so easy to do. Why doesn't everyone have that? I have that. What makes this so special? Well, it's the format and how fast and how concise it's, it is. So I'm going to break down the one that I currently use and how you can create your own formula, your own version of it in Notion. So let's break this down. So what I have in this Notion document, I have my name, Doc Williams. I break down what I do. Now, this is a title that has been given and... It's a mixture of what my title is and how people describe me to other clients. So I'm a content producer and operations manager. The operations allowing me to talk about automation, building things in no code, all of those things, and content producing, if I'm editing, if I'm creating content, recording it, all of those things. So that's why it's content producer and operations manager. This has been refined over time. Before I would say I'm a brand developer, um, the list goes on and on, but this has really been the most concise way for me to find the right kind of clients that work well with me and vice versa. Right here, I have a section, which is just a call out section that I use in Notion. Right here, it says content producer for over seven years for brands like ESPN, VaynerX. And right here, I mentioned community operations manager for brands, including inside.com, chief of staff and BizOps network. So this kind of gives me leeway in two different directions if giving a high profile who I've worked with, notable names, but also showing the two different spectrums of what I want to talk about, either content or operations. The past work section is broken down really depending on who I'm trying to work with or I know their style. The past work, I have quite a few things, but the important thing is I'm putting at the top of what is relevant to who I'm talking to. For example, right here, I'm talking about building 50 businesses from trends.co in four hours. This is ones that I know they're fans of my first million, the podcast. So I'm placating to them. I'm showing them that I know what I'm talking about. And I have a live stream of me actually demonstrating and talking about the subject for four hours straight, no cuts, right? So it shows that I have expertise there. Down below, I also have digital marketing strategy consultant for NBA Summer uh, NBA Summer League 2K24. And then I have a breakdown of the documentary that I did and then the trailer. Now, this is something interesting because digital marketing strategy, strategy or consultant, I don't, I never use that personally. But when I'm in the realm of working with bigger companies, digital marketing strategists, those kind of things, it's just the language that they have. Um, the content producing operations manager, they just know that you're a digital marketer. That's how they, that's how they labeled me. So I, I run with it. Now, down below are some of my noted podcasts and projects. Like when I was working with Vayner Sports with AJ Vaynerchuk and breaking that down. When I was doing interviews with uh, Nelsa from, um, from, was that, Florabama Shore from MTV when we're doing interviews with like Chanel West Coast, um, the Arnolds we have right here, Cato on the track, who's a six time billboard charting music producer, and then also producing live sporting events. So that shows like how I can stream and how I was a CTO for that company. So this kind of gives the breakdown of what's worked for me if I'm, I'm going for a very specific job. Now this is just one skills portfolio. I also have other ones, like say, for instance, I have my drone license. You don't see me mentioning it here. I'm also a massage therapist, all those things. 
if if you make if you add all of those things, it's cluttered and people don't really understand what you do. So you got to really make it simple for them. Now you might be saying, why is this better than a resume? A resume can say all these things. No, it can't. And the reason behind it is this has interactive content that jumps off the page. Anyone can say where they went to school or say these details. And yes, this is giving them some background and giving some context, but the videos, them clicking and checking out the videos and seeing what I'm doing is more effective than just a lifeless piece of paper that they just reference and look at my LinkedIn. This allows it to be robust. It allows you to show more of your personality. And if you're on, on, on camera, talking about this and some of the content, it shows what you can do. So even if you're doing a lot of things behind the scenes, if you can have pieces of content that you're either doing a podcast, you're the host, or you're showing your skill and doing it in a long form, that shows that you have expertise. And this is what we teach all of our clients, all of our students, that especially with the gig economy and all the things that you're looking for, if you're trying to create a consultancy, an agency, be a freelancer, the more skills portfolios that you have or the more different avenues to show your personality and what you're skilled at, the better. If you're interested in this and you want to create your, your own skills portfolio, there's going to be a link down below for a template of this that you can download and you can do this yourself. And if you have questions how you want to have your own skills portfolio or you want us to talk about this subject more, let me know in the comments section down below. Now, this is part of a new series that we're showing how to have multiple streams of income, how you can make an extra $1,000 a month so you can have your own side hustle or build out your skills. If you want to see more of those kind of videos like this and in-depth discussion about certain side hustles, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.